Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video, I will show you how to draw a curved lipid bilayer in Inkscape. This is a highly requested topic from you guys, so I did an emergency live stream. A lot of you came to live stream, it was really fun. I hope to see more of you. There will always be a notification on my channel page about an upcoming live stream. Have you guys noticed I have a new setup arrangement? How do you guys like it? And I just noticed you can kind of see my laundry rack over there. Oh my god, it's very dark, so I hope you will not see anything but without further ado let's start to draw our membrane so let's first draw a circle you can drag while holding control then you're able to create a circle now we'll just fill it in with a color whichever color you like because we're going to change it later and then i'll grab the then i'll grab the bezier tool or an s shape and we don't need the fill so i'll just click on this none fill to remove the fill now the stroke color is orange it's totally fine but for the sake of demonstration i will change it to green and also remember to change the stroke style to round cap by default you will see it as hot cap You should use the alignment tool to align the lipid chain like this and I'll group them. Uh, the lipid head is a little bit too big, so let me shrink it down. Select both of these and center them to the vertical axis. Let's make a copy and click on the rotation for 90 degree twice. So you'll be able to rotate it for 180 degrees. I'll group them again. This is where the magic happens. Let's create a curved line. If you have taken my Inkscape beginner course, I think you will be very capable of managing all of these tools. Make sure your lipid unit at the top of all object select it and then come here to click on raise selection to top select both the unit and the path and go to extension generate from path and click on pattern along path and here you can select the mode for copies of the pattern i usually select repeated stretched you can also take duplicate the pattern before deformation so uh, you have a copy of your original now let's click on apply Ta -da! then you will create a curved lipid by layer and you'll see that you, you will still have the original path so let's move it to the side and now what if you want to put a radial gradient into the phosphate head and we need to first ungroup everything and then then we need to come to path and click on break apart if it's not breaking then that means you need to ungroup it again. So now we're only selecting all the red parts. Let's go to path and click on break apart. You will see that the phosphate head are individual circles now. And let's do the same to the lower one. Uh, break apart. I will create a circle here and then grab the gradient tool and create a radio gradient in this circle. If you want to have an orange lipid by layer, then just come here to wrap an orange in the swatches. The center of the gradient should be white. Let's select one of these phosphate head. Come to come to edit, select same and click on fill color and you will be able to select all the red object at once okay now you can come to our fill and stroke panel click on fill click on radio gradient and you can find the gradients that you created here in this drop down menu you can just select it and then you have these gradients fill into the lipid head they will look more like the nature review schematic illustrations i will also change the lipid change to orange so let's select the lipid chain part, hold shift and click on the orange. Then you will be able to change the stroke color to orange lipids. And there you go. That is how you create a curved lipid by layer in Inkscape. If you don't know how to use Inkscape, you can watch my free beginner course. It is in the link in the description.